Dog's strange behavior alerts owner to an unexpected threat. When Brian Myers adopted a German Shepherd named Sadie, he knew he'd made the right choice. The very night he adopted his new friend, she jumped up and put her paws on my shoulders and gave me a kiss on the face, he told today, and it just seemed to me that she was saying, thank you for rescuing me. However, things soon would take a dark turn when Brian noticed Sadie acting bizarrely, and he suddenly realized that something was very, very wrong. Brian Myers had been thinking about adopting a dog for some time, and finally in September 2020, he bit the bullet. He wanted to save a needy, abused pup from a scary fate and he knew a shelter that could help him out. Our story begins at the Ramapo Bergen Animal Refuge in Oakland, New Jersey, an adoption center that housed Sadie, a six-year-old German shepherd who badly needed a home. After hearing about her past, Brian didn't have to dwell on the decision any longer. This was the dog for him. Sadie, shown here, is a six-year-old rescued German shepherd, wrote Ramapo Bergen and Animal Refuge in an Instagram post surrendered to the shelter when her owner moved. She was confused and seemingly lost upon rescue, having suddenly lost the only family that she knew. Sadie is a loyal dog, but nervous and protective with new people, making her a more difficult placement. This wasn't all her baggage, though. Sadie's biography noted that she was especially nervous with men. This didn't stop Brian from meeting her, however. I met her, and within 20 minutes, she was comfortable with me, he recalled. And then 10 minutes later, she was jumping in the back of my car and we drove off. All Brian had to do to win Sadie's love was to extend it to her first. Brian valued her intelligence, hesitancy to trust, and fierce loyalty once she did form that trust, said the Ramapo Bergen Animal Refuge. When he brought the pooch home, their bond continued to grow. She puts her face on the edge of the bed, looking at me, asking for permission to get up on the bed, Brian recalled. I say, go ahead, and she takes her toys with her and jumps up on the bed. She follows me everywhere. She's my best friend. Then, in January 2021, everything changed. Around then, Brian contracted COVID-19. He was up there in years and living alone, so there was a high risk the virus could do some serious damage. As he battled the illness, he was stuck in bed, and Sadie was right there with her toys, after asking permission, of course. This proved beneficial in more ways than one. With the positive energy brought by Sadie, Brian started feeling a little better, even taking his pooch on a four-mile walk when he finally recovered. On January 16th, though, he woke up from a deep sleep and headed for the bathroom. On his way there, he collapsed to the floor. At the time, Sadie was in bed. When she saw Brian collapse, however, something deep in her brain clicked, and all her natural instincts came flooding back. Originally trained for herding sheep, these dogs had a knack for helping others, and it ushered them into being powerhouses in the dog world. Because of their strength, intelligence, trainability, and obedience, German Shepherds have internationally become one of the top dog breeds for work around disability assistance, search and rescue, police, and military roles. Even with their baggage, Sadie was no exception. I just could not control my muscles and didn't have the strength to get back up, Brian remembered of the harrowing moment. She immediately came down from the bed and came running over to my side, and she laid down next to me and was kissing my face and letting me know that she was concerned and upset. I thought I was out of the woods with COVID-19, he said, but apparently many people are developing blood clots after they've recovered from COVID. And so, unbeknownst to me, I had a stroke in the middle of the night. Sadie was at his side, but what could she really do? Then Brian noticed something. When I grabbed her collar, she... I don't know, just instinctively knew to start walking backwards and pulling me, Brian later told today. And between her pulling me and whatever strength I could muster, I was able to slide myself across the floor and get out of the corner I was trapped in. But Brian wasn't in the clear yet. Using Sadia's support, Brian managed to reach his cell phone and call for help. As he waited for emergency services to arrive, she kept licking his face, making sure he didn't drift off or completely lose control of his faculties. Together, they waited, wondering if help would arrive in time. Emergency services arrived and took Brian to the hospital. Sadie stayed at home. For the first time since the adoption, the two were separated. While in bed, Brian received a FaceTime call from his brother, 
he put Sadie on the video, and the two got to see each other again. The moment overwhelmed Brian. I think when I see her, I'm going to burst into tears and hug her and kiss her, he said. My intention is now to give Sadie the best life that I possibly can going forward. He even spent his interview gushing about adopting shelter animals. Brian said, I'm a very shy person, but I think it's important to get the word out that there are many animals that are in need and all they need is a chance. Suddenly, Sadie, a dog who had just been abandoned months earlier, was the center of attention. That mutual benefit was made all the more clear in the aftermath of Brian's accident. Brian gave Sadie a second chance at life, adopting Sadie and welcoming her home, said the Ramapo Bergen Animal Refuge. This time, they continued, Sadie gave Brian a second chance at life. As if all the media attention wasn't enough, Sadie also received the coveted Heroic Dog Award from PETA. I can't wait to see her, said David from the hospital. Right now, she's the best thing that's ever happened in my life. Can't wait to be reunited with her. Finally, it was time for Brian to reunite with his dog. I'm leaving a very happy man and very satisfied with my progress, he said of his stay in the hospital, and I want to thank everyone who's helped me throughout this ordeal. Of course, he has Sadie to thank the most. Please share this with your friends and family.